The alleged meddling by the spy agency and the military in last year's presidential election dominated much of the National Assembly's audit of the government on Friday, which is the last day of the annual audit for most of the standing committees. The 20-day audit was the first one under the Pakane administration and the biggest to date, with more than 600 organizations under the microscope. Arirang News National Assembly correspondent Kim hyun reports. The Judiciary and Defense Committees on Friday focused on fresh allegations that the National Intelligence Service and the military's Cyber Warfare Command Unit launched an extensive online smear campaign against opposition candidates before the presidential election last December. The scandal has captured Korean politics and widened into a broader debate about the legitimacy of last year's presidential election. During the Judiciary Committee's audit session, Opposition lawmakers accused the justice minister of putting pressure on the prosecutors investigating the case, while ruling party lawmakers said the opposition is making the issue bigger than it really is. Justice Minister Hwang Kyo-wan pledged to do his part to clear up any remaining suspicions surrounding the case, while denying the accusation that he used his influence to pressure prosecutors. At the Defense Committee's audit session, Defense Minister Kim Guan Jin promised to complete the military's ongoing investigation into the allegations against the Cyber Command Unit and protect the political neutrality of the military. He asked lawmakers to refrain from making this a political issue, saying that doing so would put South Korea's cybersecurity at risk. Now that the audit is practically over for most standing committees, lawmakers are expected to begin reviewing pending bills and next year's budget starting next week. But the wide gap between them suggests that they may have difficulty carrying out any legislative activity in the remaining weeks of this parliamentary session, which ends in December. As they wrap up the audit, the ruling Century Party said the rival parties must all move on from the spy agency scandal in order to take care of more pressing livelihood issues. The main opposition Democratic Party disagreed, saying that ensuring democracy and bringing stability to the political arena are some of the most pressing issues they must address. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.